Just hey, by the way, what, what are you doing to me? Huh? What am I doing? After, after uh, all of these speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, <laughs> we're closing it out. We're going to close, uh, close it close out. on a low note. <laughs> <laughs> close it. Well, me, I'm the last one, right? We're oh, dear. We ended, we ended at the bottom with Matt. With me. Uh, I, I tell you what, it's, it's been fantastic. I've listened to as much as I could, um, you know, while I was teaching a little bit this morning, uh, kind of playing in the background. But uh, ever since, I mean, it's been fantastic. It has been. Our, our leaders, our community leaders, our people, are, they're, they're such good people. Um, it's such and, a testament to the quality of people that we have. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's unbelievable, Matt. I was actually, I was, had to go run to the store. So I had my earphones on, was listening to it while I was driving. And, um, and in the store and um, it sort of dawned on me in a, in a way is and speaking of coaching there with Wendy, you know, as a young coach, uh, you're always told by older coaches, Hey, you know, read as much as you can go find all these other examples, go speak to all these other people. And I think what generally ends up happening is you just stay in the, the area that you know best, right? So you, you read soccer books or you read basketball books or you read about uh, and um, it really took until today, and, and this is no line, no joke, um, for me to realize the range of topics that we've covered from nine o'clock until now, and the amount of, like you were talking about the gold nuggets from these things, the, the amount of little gold nuggets coming from every single person has been, it's yeah. been unbelievable. And, and it, it took till now for me to realize, you know what, I, I really need to just not really expand um, my, my, my uh, knowledge, but just expand the types of information that I'm, that I'm absorbing. It's, it's, yeah. been great. it's been great. It, it has been. And, and you're so right. Cause if you look at just the people that are part of Convene and the, the communities, and this is what it's all about. This is the vision, you know, and I'll tell you, this is the, you're seeing today, the vision come together of what I've always seen that this could be. Today, you've had 14 different people on, and we have more that aren't even on today. But 14 today of 14 different communities with 14 people with different passions in different areas, with yeah. a lot, yeah. a lot. But, but you know one thing, and I, I made this note, one thing that all 14 of those people have made a comment about, either the exact same quote um, or something very similar, is you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 and it all related to their topic, you know, their story, their why. Um, it, it's really been neat. It's been really neat yeah. to, uh, to watch. C congrats to you for putting it together. Oh, man. I'm just, it's our team, man. Uh, we have such a wonderful team, Jeff, and you know that. Uh, it's been said multiple times, but, you know, you have been. Uh, I will get to you and you can talk about how you came about to convene, but Eugene and Melinda and Todd is watching and, um, mm -hmm. you know, Shana and uh, unfortunately Braden has been at work all day. He hasn't been able to watch. Um, but we just, we have an incredible team mm -hmm. uh, and we've all pour our hearts into this. And then it, and then you see the extended team, right? with all the community leaders and all these people that have now their the vision is coming together and it's exciting to me to see people really starting to understand. Like when Wendy said, you know, how she was up till three in the morning, putting, putting her book in, but, but that's a click. That's a moment. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear Jody Watkins talking about, uh, it goes back to, the podcast that I had with Jason on the Convene Connection podcast. And if you hear her tell the story, and she didn't really talk about it today, but she had her whiteboard up mm -hmm. as it clicked to her while we were doing the Convene Connections. And she was, you know, uh, doing out what her community could be. Yep. Um, and so these pieces and parts are coming together. Um, and like Patty right there says, you know, yes, Matt, what a vision. This vision is coming together. And now as people take it and we build in the Jason Berry business coaching, we build in the marketing training, we build yeah. in this team where we all start to share each other's communities, grow each other's communities. Yeah. It's going to get special. It's going to yeah. get special. As far, as far as we've come, it, uh, it's not even the tip of the iceberg yet. Yeah. Okay. I haven't, haven't even, haven't even taken that first big step. It's, uh, it's got a long ways to go yet. It's yeah. exciting. 
Yeah, it's got a long ways to go, but it's fun at the same time. Yeah. So how did you come about? Well, um, I, I, I invited a couple of uh, scraggly fellows to campus <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was coaching at Guilford. Um, scraggly fellows and one beautiful woman, Tisha. Was Tisha there the first time? I think she came the first time on the I, can't remember. I know she was there. I can't remember if it was the first time or not. But anyway, yeah, so you're right. So the whole family. Yeah. Um, no, but had you guys over to uh, to campus? I remember um, it was Chris Robinson was coaching Braden at the time, yeah. and and I, you know, I was talking to him about a couple of players, and and he kind of kept mentioning Braden. You know, hey, take a look at Braden, and um, finally did. And anyway, brought him over to campus. Have you guys around campus? And uh, I remember we were just sitting at the lunch table, so, um, having lunch, yeah. and just started talking about uh, the the idea, you know, the vision for um, for convene and um, ex experiential learning I think is what we were calling it at the time and so um, I pretty much right away I was hooked I mean you, yeah. you know me long enough uh, come from a, an education background you know mom dad and aunts and uncles and grandpas and grandmas all in teaching um, and that type of experience um, either both both uh, gaining and giving these experiences um, plus with coaching you know and, and, and trying to teach not just soccer, but life was, was yeah. the biggest thing. So, you know, as soon as you, you started um, talking about it and sharing your idea and your vision, I mean, I was, I was in from the beginning. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah and, it's, and if you talk about a soccer community, and by the way, Lindy just said we need to dive into the soccer community for sure. Hashtag soccer, soccer mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. We need a soccer mom group there, Lindy. Um, so if you talk about in, we, you, we connected on this right away because I was using it or had been using it right before an older version of convene, not what it is to the extent that it is now. Mm -hmm. I was using it with my U12 girls mm -hmm. and I was taking clips, video clips of the games, you know, from the, uh, the recordings. And then I would take those clips and then actually what we would do is, Braden, because he was a college soccer player at the time, or getting ready to be one mm -hmm. in high school at the time when I first did that, he would take the clips and he would break it down and say, "We okay, this is what you need to think about these using a whiteboard. Right. And so the difference that it made in my team from one week to the next yeah. was phenomenal. Yeah. And if you go back to what like Greg Wilson is using it for with the Wounded Warrior Umpire Academy and the re umpires and referees, it what we were doing that with soccer clips many years yeah. ago. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's um, it's amazing the power of little clips. Yeah, and and having kids, a player, see it, see what they've done, watch themselves. You know, they have to get over the sort of embarrassment of watching themselves at first, but mm -hmm. you know, watch themselves either do something right or wrong, and then correct it. You know, th those those experiences are still on the uh, in the community. Right? They are. You can go into the soccer community and you can see them as examples. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're still there because I think they're they're great. And I'm yeah. telling you, and and you'll see, like when we explain it in one, they just they were clumped up like you twelve girls would be. Mm -hmm. You'll and and I'm telling you, one week they were clumped up, but they watched themselves on video, and the next week they spread the field. Yeah, it was yeah. phenomenal. That's yeah. awesome. So, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'm going to be using that with uh, the high school team, the Page High School team that I'm coaching. So I'm yeah. going to do that this starting, uh, well, I guess this winter now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Since we're not playing in the fall. But, you know, we're going to, uh, we have a guy that takes a video and he'll break it down into clips and I'm just going to send it to him. You know, I might even think about um, uh, doing some clips in practice. Yeah. Because you know? really that's where most of the learning is taught anyway. Um, yeah. So why not take some practice clips? and then put it on the platform so we don't have to all be together and watching the same, you know, film and rewind and all that. So, yeah. Well, you have uh, limited time, right? You yeah. have limited time as a high school coach or, you know, college coach or whatever it might be, or even, even, even with, club coaches. I mean, club coaches, you see them maybe uh, you're lucky, t you know, two times a week. Yeah, exactly. So You don't always have the facility to go in and, you know, take them into the film room and, and break correct. it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's more than that, and you're using soccer is more than that, too, because you're using it uh, to teach parents a little bit. And I think this is such a great topic. Um, yeah. We don't yeah. know. You sports parents. I mean, just those three words can make some people cringe, some coaches cringe anyway. But um, 
you know, it, it spurred spurned the idea. I spurred, got the idea from just being around soccer. You know, I've coached soccer for over 20 years at all levels um, and used soccer for most of that. Uh, and I've coached, uh, you know, five-year-olds to you know, 25-year-olds. Um, and the, the, probably the most interesting slash, trying to think of a, a word, um, maybe confused um, group in all of that are, are the new youth sports parents. Yeah. You know, working with the, the young academy, the youth academy for the last couple of years. Um, you know, we have new youth parents come in every day. First, you know, first uh, child, little Billy, little Susie coming in with their overgrown soccer cleats and shin guards. And, yeah. you know, they're, they're trying to navigate the, the landscape you know, even probably more so than their children are. Um, and then also a good friend of mine, um, John O'Sullivan with Changing the Game Project. Uh, you know, he was a bit of an influence on it. And then, you know, just sort of talking about the same thing and the influence, both positive and negative that you sport, uh, youth sports parents have. So yeah, I started a group there and, and it's very little of it's just uh, sort of personal experiences or, uh, and it's more just taking content, either you know written words, videos, anything from, from anything that I've found over the last number of years and, and just kind of putting it out there. You know, hey, if you were in this person's shoes, you know, how would you feel? Or, you know, some sort of topic towards youth parents, just educating them into, hey, it's okay just to sit back and, you know, let your, your son or daughter play, enjoy yeah. it, find success, fail. It's okay. It's all part of learning. Um, and I know it's hard. I mean, <laughs> my daughters are in middle school and for as much experience as I had when they first started playing sports, it took me forever. Just, I mean, just to sit, uh, I shouldn't say it took me forever. It took a lot for me just to sit and watch. Yeah. Yeah. Without saying anything. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll tell you experience I had real quick. This is Three second experience from this last weekend is uh, parenting. I was umpiring a baseball game. Mm. Uh, and this is referee, so I'm getting the opposite side of it now. Yeah, and I'll be honest. I it makes me think about being a parent as a coach. I've you know I've let a couple of refs have it every once in a while. Let's mm-hmm. be honest. Yep. Um, I can think of one when I was coaching at uh, high school uh, last year, or I just laid into a ref because uh, the guy our goalie hit it. You know, went and cleared it and mm-hmm. the, took our goalie out. Well, when he cleared it, it went right to the guy. And then the guy saw our goalie taken out and just hit it from distance and it went in. Scored, yeah. And, yeah, and scored. But our goalie got taken out as he was clearing it, like literally mm-hmm. laying on the ground. But right. the ref didn't see it. His head transitioned with the kick. So he missed our goalie getting taken out. Right. He gave up a goal and ended up going down by one. I let him have it, right? But I'm thinking about it now that I'm a, uh, umpire, I'm like, well, okay, he just didn't see it, you yeah. know, but still, yeah. Yeah. but this parent, we were in a game the other day and this parent, uh, well, the team going into the top of the seventh inning, they were up five runs and they gave up, they got a double play to start the inning. Then they gave up eight runs. Mm-hmm. Eight runs. So they ended up down three mm. and, but they also made like seven errors in that right. thing. They didn't like the guy who was calling behind the plate. He's a college umpire, ACC umpire, so he knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. They didn't like his strikes on. They thought it was too tight, right? But they forgot about the errors, errors. yeah, that they made. Well, yep. when we go out to the parking lot, I mean, we have a parent that is just going at us. And right. his car happens to be parked on the other side of our car, and he parks facing us, his window's down, and he's sitting there chirping at the window. And he turns his bright lights on right into, you know, David's face. It's right. like, what are you doing? Nah, you know, just, that's just the mentality that some of these parents take into it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, it's a great experience. I mean, it's a great, um, it's a great example, you know, yeah. just that group, what I'm trying to, to create, or I am creating is just those sort of things. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's look at the bigger picture here. Yeah. Look at the bigger picture. The referees and the umpires are the easy ones to point out. They're the easy ones. It's the easy way out. So it does, it takes all the onus off of, off of their, their team or their son or their daughter and puts it on someone else's face. So, but I love the experience, the ride home. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And and again, I, I I got that from my buddy, John. Um, It's been out there. It's great. You know, I I actually use our coach, you know, I coach Neil's team, my daughter's team, and I have to sit in the car sometimes (laughs) even to practices and, you know, just 
hey, how was school today or yeah. something else, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. really kind of grit my teeth, but you know, it goes a long way. Yeah. You know, that, I've once they get in the car for the most part, they've forgotten about it. You know, unless you say, Hey, you know, wow, great, uh, you know, great goal you scored. That was awesome. And you know, maybe that was it. You yeah. Know, so. yeah, that's not, you know, you're, you're talking about refs, Matt, and, and, uh, and Greg Wilson with the empires. Um, that's another section of the, the soccer that I want to get into. Um, his, his, his umpire group, the Wounded Warrior umpire group, and the way he's put it together is exactly how I've envisioned. Um, really soccer and basketball referees as well. Same thing, you know, here's yeah. the rule, here's a video and here's your lesson learned. Um, it's fantastic. So there, there's another one, another way to use it. Yeah. So it's going to be what a wonderful community. Soccer is great. We're looking for other people to come in for soccer, other leagues, any league can use it. I mean, yeah. there's, there's endless that other coaches, like I said, it's in, a team could use it to manage their team. You use it to manage your high school team, practice, yeah. travel, yeah. workouts. Yep, summer workouts. Yep, so clubs can use it to, uh, similarly as well. You know, uh, a group for their coaches, a group for their um, board members, a group for the parents, a group for each team. Yeah, I mean, it's it's yep. um, it's endless. So. so for those watching, as you you know, as you know, people that are part of leagues, part of other sports, we're always looking for other communities, other sports, or other soccer teams, or yeah. uh, just you know, getting in touch with people to come in and be a part of convene communities. I think it's. Uh, I think it's good. Sports are going to be big for convenience. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just think about it. And it's similar to, to teachers as I was thinking about it um, the other day, but you know, teachers always have lesson plans, right? So there's instant content. Yes. Soccer coaches always have um, training sessions. You know, most of them have them written out. So you already have the content right there, Yeah. you know, and, and every coach, all coaches are thieves. Every coach wants to, to you know, find something else and, and a way to teach their, uh, their players some sort of a skill or some sort of a tactic and you have the plan right there and and the way i see it is you know you're writing your plan and you know you show it to 10 different coaches they're going to show you or they're going to tell you seven or eight different ways to transition you know from the very beginning part of your practice to the end they're all going to have different ideas and that's where um, i think um, you know we can we can really use somebody that has a lot of that content already there's plenty out there yeah you know, to start implementing that and, and making those type of experiences. Yeah. But you do a little bit more for convene. I mean, you're part of the, the running the operations for convene, keeping us on schedule, driving the show. That's a full time job. Yeah. Working, <laughs> uh, work in, you know, trying to help me stay on schedule. <laughs> that, that's a full time job. <laughs> taking, my writing, that, yeah. taking my writing and rewriting it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> between me and Braden, it's a full-time job, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, no, I've, uh, Matt, I, I've been, uh, I don't say this often, this, this say this way often, but I, I've been blessed to be, um, to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, just really kind of run into the two of you guys. I mean, you know, we tell the story all the time. It, it was, I coached Braden in college, but you know, I really only coached him one year before I left Guilford. Um, you know, so somehow or another, recruiting Braden to Guilford was bigger than just bringing him to Guilford to play soccer, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and this is uh, seems to be the way right now. So it's yes. been great. Great staff. Yeah, I believe, you know, God brings us all together in uh, different ways, you know, and, and mm -hmm. for different purposes. And, and all of these people, you know, we've all come. It's crazy, the stories of how we've all come together. Yeah. And I, yeah. I think it's wonderful in a way, you know. Well, there's all those connections. You know, we, what did we speak about it last week on the podcast? Everybody is connected to somebody else in the core team, the community leader, somehow. Yeah. Right? I don't think yet, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think yet there's been anybody that's been outside the little web here that's come in, um, our own little web, that's come in from the outside that had, doesn't have some connection to somebody already here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, that's exactly yeah. how it is. And that's the way we're going to grow organically. Yeah. Yep grow organically through continuing to uh, invite people and invite people and invite people. I mean, you can go to Jason Barry, you know, I met him by random. Well, he's the one who came in actually through calling Carrie about being a speaker on the summit. Yeah. But that's how we got to Jamon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, he, Jamon works with Jason as a coach. So yep. that's the way it's going to go organic. hundred yep. percent. It's going to be great. So, 